Hey there everyone, my name is Eduardo Arroyo, but you can call me Ed. And today we're here exploring Bonoma Falls in the Columbia River Gorge in Oregon. Thank you. And we are here, you guys. We came all the way from Portland, Oregon. Uh, we took this bus right here. This is a Columbia Gorge Express. It takes 40, about 40 to 45 minutes coming from the city all the way here. And you can pay for around away tickets online. So it's really convenient. I strongly recommend if you're coming to the falls, Consider taking this bus. The bus is leaving right now and in order to get to the other side There's a highway going through here. So you have to go underground So there's like a little path that takes you to the other side of the road Just to the right side you can find an information booth I'm guessing there you will find like different maps and information related to the falls and to the surrounding area in uh, here All right, you guys, we're gonna go ahead and take the path that I told you guys about. It's starting to look like there's a lot of people coming here today. So it's gonna be interesting. So we just made it here to Bonoma Falls Lodge. This is also where the sign is located. As you can see right there, a lot of people take advantage and take pictures in front of it. Right in front of the lodge, you will see the parking lot. Uh, there's a lot of places to visit right along this road. It can be a little inconvenient as you can see right now I don't see a lot of parking spots and I see a line of cars trying to park right here Which is gonna be tough. The lodge is a place where you can find restrooms and you can see there's people coming out through there There's also a gift shop so you can do some souvenir shopping right here And let me show you a little bit more ahead. The lodge also serves as the information center there's also a restaurant back there as well as a food cart which people can use uh, to fuel up before hiking or after they are done uh, coming back from the waterfall. In here you will also find a few benches like this one. There's a few places where you can sit down and relax before or after you're done with your hike. Before hiking out today my girlfriend decided to go to the souvenir place so I'm gonna go catch up with her and see what she's up to. That was not the souvenir place, that was the information center and it's really cool guys. I strongly recommend if you guys want to learn more information about the falls and not just about the falls but about the animals and the plants that live in this area. It's really cool information and really cool if you like like the outdoors okay. and that well, kind yeah. of stuff. All right you guys this adventure starts right now. We're gonna start heading up the waterfall. As we start heading up, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys a few facts and a little bit about the history of this place. This waterfall is actually the second highest year-round waterfall in the United States. This title has been contested, but I think the distinction that is key is the fact that this is a year-round waterfall. It does not get any better than this. The goal is to get all the way to the bridge I think that's where you get the best pictures. Look at this, you guys, that is so cool. We're gonna start and head up to the bridge. The land surrounding the bridge, including the path that we're walking on right now, the viewing bridge that I show you guys, and the lodge that we were at the beginning, this is all the work of Mr. Simon Benson, who started working on this in the 20th century. All these places that I mentioned have been added to the National Registry of Historical Places. The more you know. But we're just arriving here to the bridge that I was showing you at the beginning. Let me show you. It's so full of people taking pictures. And we're about to do the same. Shameless. At the bridge now, about to take some pictures. Look at this, you guys, we're that much closer, oh, yeah, everyone. 
Everyone is taking pictures here. Let's get through. This is actually the most visited site in the Pacific Northwest. And the good thing about it is that it's completely free. I think the height that is thrown around on the internet, it's about 620 feet tall, but that is split into two different drops. The tallest drop of these two is about 542 feet, and the lower one or the shorter one it's about 78 as you keep going there's gonna be few benches on the side so you can sit down relax and admire the amazing beauty of this place not just the waterfall but if you looked to the right you can see that is the the lodge that we were at the beginning that's the parking lot and over there that's the columbia river gorge since we're chilling right now i'm just gonna throw a recommendation out there for you guys uh bring some snacks as you saw, <laughs> there is a visitor center down at the bottom, but I think you can make it way cheaper if you bring your own stuff. Hopefully you make it healthier and bring some fruit too. Down there I just saw like hot dogs and pretzels, so that's not the best. We've seen a lot of people wearing like normal shoes, like Converse and stuff. And like, I mean, some areas like this are dry, but over there, it was a little muddy to be honest. And I saw some people almost slipping if you come here i would recommend to at least bring some like decent shoes that have some traction because you don't want to be the one trying this like ultimate slide We just had a realization that apparently is the top of the waterfall. <laughs> we thought we were supposed to keep going up all the way over there, but it's right there. So we made it. We actually have to go down from here. So we need to walk just a little bit further, but you can already hear the water. There's a little bridge. Um, the actual viewpoint is the other way. So we're going to head there right now. But here you can get as close as you can to the origin of the waterfall. The origin is actually the underground springs in large mountain, which flow all the way from up there, all the way to the bottom here at Monoma Falls. Check this out, you guys. We made it. We still have to go downstairs, but check this out. This looks like some Mayan ruins or something. This looks pretty cool. As you can see, there's already some people here in the lookout section taking some pictures, chilling, admiring the view, and having fun. And this right here is my favorite part of this whole thing. Look at that. Over there, you kinda can't see the bridge. Let me show you closer. And right there, you guys, is the little bridge we were at the beginning as well. They look so tiny. Let me zoom out and you'll see what I'm talking about. See, now you can barely see them. They're tiny. That is so cool, you guys. Check it out. Whoa! So we decided to relax sitting down here at this rock right next to the beginning of the waterfall. And I just wanted to take uh, the advantage and, and tell you guys of why uh, coming back here is so significant for me. This is the second time that I actually come here. And the first time that I came here, it was the, during my first internship. During the internship, some of my friends asked me if I wanted to come and visit the waterfalls. And I was like, yes, definitely. I want to come and check it out. During that time, I didn't have a lot of money. So I had one of those phones, not a flip phone, but one of those phones with the keyword, like all, all of it, like in, the, in one of the screens. So when I came here, I didn't have uh, like a good phone or a good camera to record any of the things that I was um, experiencing, which was kind of frustrating to me. Like I like to share everything, especially with my dad. Anyways, during that time, I did take out my phone, my crappy phone, and I decided to record this place. And 
in my mind I was like whoa this is gonna be mind-blowing like it's gonna be exactly what I'm looking at but no <laughs> if I find the, the footage on my Facebook I'll show it to you guys so yeah <laughs> so you guys have like a point of reference but I don't know it just makes me feel happy that I'm able to come back here and document this whole experience and share it with everyone and with you guys of course all right you guys that is gonna be it for this little trip for us it was so nice to be here once again we still want to do some things over at the city so we need to leave relatively early and it's not even that early it's already gonna be four and uh, we're trying to catch the 450 bus uh, back to the city so hopefully we can make it there's only one thing getting on our way and that is doing this whole hike the other way around almost look at the schedule for the bus for the Gorge Express and it comes in 10 minutes so we have 10 minutes to get down if not we're gonna have to wait for a whole hour so hopefully we can make it there in 10 minutes Excuse <laughs> going to the bridge back to once again so we just made it here to the beginning this is where we took the first pictures as you can see all the tourist people right there I think we're gonna make it but I'm gonna call it, this is gonna be the end of the video. Like and subscribe, there you go. If you guys enjoyed the video, I'm gonna ask you to please click the like button and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos like this one. Check this out, the bus just arrived. It's right here, we made it right on time. Anyways, you guys, I just wanna remind you to be kind, have an open mind. We'll see you next time.